Welcome to my desk tour video. I've spent years experimenting and using different setups, and this is what I'm working with right now. A few months ago, I switched my studio into a light mode, where the idea was to make this place look big and brighter during daytime in order to film comfortably. And I'm happy to say, after a lot of work, the project is now finally complete. At least for now. In this video, we'll dive into the actual desk setup, my choice of ergonomic chair, peripherals, and a lot more along with a surprise product. About a year ago, I bought my first standing desk. And as you can see, it was a manual desk. And here, this will probably bore you, so I'll speed this up. <laughs> can you tell why I wanted to switch? I wanted to dip into the standing desk experience without a big commitment. But after long minutes of rolling my desk up and down over a year, I thought it's my time to graduate into a proper standing desk setup. So I wanted to give FlexiSpot E7 Pro a try. The desk was a breeze to set up with pre-drilled holes, which makes the setup process easy to follow. And the complimentary cable management system is awesome to have. So currently I'm 160 pounds. Let's see if this desk will lift me up and all the things on the desk with no problems. Maximum load on the E7 Pro is 440 pounds. With everything on my desk, I'm probably pushing around 220 pounds or so. And the E7 Pro is having no problems pushing me up. Of course, you are never gonna lift 400 pounds with this desk, but it just gives you a peace of mind when it comes to durability. Cool. Back to the seating position. Pretty impressive. The E7 Pro is sturdy and smooth. I can even use it to add movement into my videos. The desk moves smooth as a gimbal. I'll be using the desk a lot for recording. The E7 Pro also allows you to set presets for your standing or sitting position. With one click, you can just watch your desk get to its position. I really like standing desks. They provide a huge health benefit. If you're like me and spend long hours on your computer, you have to try standing while working. Not only it makes me more productive, but sitting for a long time is the worst thing you can do for your body. And of course, when sitting, you have to hold a good posture. And I recommend using a proper ergonomic chair, as I think a good chair is a great investment for your posture and for your comfort. And there are quite a few things I look for when choosing my ergonomic chair. I always prefer a mesh build because I can't stand heating up while working. And for me, a good chair needs to have a good neck support along with an adjustable lumbar support. And the C7 Pro is great for that as well as offering multiple adjustments. It's now time for the surprise product. This portion of the video is sponsored by Jisoo Life. I gotta tell you more about this one specific product. This is the Handheld Fan Pro 1S. And the problem with this product is that I just can't seem to let it go. It has quickly become a part of my desk setup and day-to-day -day life. This portable fan comes with 5000 milliamp battery and it's got 18 watts fast charging. With a full battery life, you can push it to 15 hours of battery life. You can adjust the fan speed from 1 to 100 and it's got a cool LED display to show you that. If I was gonna summarize this product in one sentence, it would be, you don't know what you don't know. Let me explain. I never thought I was gonna include this product in my day-to-day -day life this much because I never knew the convenience and the comfort that it brings without any effort. I was wrong. Whether I'm putting together a furniture or just sitting on my desk working or even out on a hot day walking, this product always ends up with me. I have the dark gray version and the body is made of metal so it looks premium. And of course, because of the compact design, you could put this fan essentially anywhere. Here I have it sideways for a better direction while I'm gaming on the couch. Honestly, if you could carry comfort, this is what it would look like. Okay, it's been so hot lately and today there's actually a heat warning. Like it doesn't feel good, it's sticky and this fan is literally my best friend. And this was a good example of what it actually sounds like. And now let's look at the strength. At full power, this is the strength that it brings at about 26 inches far from the subject. All right, while I cool myself, let's talk about the next element on my desk. As for my speakers, I have the Sanyon SW206 speakers. These are 80 watts dual mode bookshelf speakers. The two modes that it comes with is monitoring mode for audio monitoring and hi-fi mode for general entertainment. And I have my speakers on a stand mounted onto my desk. And I think this is about the perfect height for my setup. 
and with the speakers we have basic controls like volume, treble and bass. And I find myself adjust these levels as I switch from monitor to hi-fi mode or vice versa. And when it comes to accuracy, I'm pretty happy with the Sanyans. In my opinion, they're a phenomenal budget choice for basic audio monitoring. And I have my speakers hooked in with the aux cable. Being happy with my setup and work environment is really important to me, and I'm sure it is to you as well. I find that a clean and a personalized workspace can boost mood and motivation. An aesthetically pleasing and functional environment contributes to a positive mental state. And again, this is a personalized experience. In your personal desk setup, there may be some things that is more important to you than it is to me, and vice versa. Right now, I'm happy with my current setup because I was open-minded to change and try creative things at times. And I have further plans with my setup, which in time will come through. But for now, I'm enjoying the best of the setup that I have right now. This here is Corey, a wireless hot swappable 82 keys mechanical keyboard that is $62.99 Canadian. And this is what it sounds like. You have the option to grab the blue, brown or red switches with this keyboard. I went for the blue switches to get a bit of a clicky experience. This keyboard does have a 4000 milliamp battery capacity, which is great especially for a keyboard at this price. And in terms of connections, we have Bluetooth, wireless and wired USB. For my use, one of the things I don't like about this keyboard is the sleep mode which seems like you can't turn off. And to use the volume knob for example, I have to wake the keyboard up and then adjust volume. If I'm watching something for a while, it's kind of annoying. And also the 6299 does reflect on the quality of the keyboard. I'm finding that even the key fonts are kind of faded and they kind of look a little cheap. And that's it for my current budget keyboard. But what about the mouse? The mouse that I've been using for a bit now is the first of the Logitech MX series. In 2024, it's still an awesome mouse to have. It sits well in the hand, the battery is good. I can't really seem to find a reason to change this mouse. My favorite feature is the smart speed adaptive scroll wheel. It also has the ability to pair up to three devices, but I never use this feature because I have one computer. When I do Photoshop or edit photos on Lightroom, I notice that the mouse is quite precise, which is something I look for when I have those long editing sessions. And to make myself more comfortable, I have a mini size HyperX wrist rest. This wrist rest is actually pretty cool. I mean, literally, it's got a cool gel and it's a memory foam along with a non-slip back. Trust me, you gotta take good care of your wrists. Even though these days I'm editing a lot of photos on my phone, I still prefer to do a lot of editing on my computer. And for that, we need a monitor with accurate colors. As for my monitor, I have the LG 27 UD68. This is a 27 inch 4K monitor that is pretty good at the things I'm looking for. It's an IPS panel with a 99% sRGB coverage. We also have 10 bit color depth with this monitor, which makes it ideal for color grading. We do have 60 Hertz refresh rate, which is not super ideal for gaming, which I do not game on my monitor anyway. I use my desk setup for work and light entertainment. And I have my LG mounted onto a monitor arm. Using a monitor arm does open a lot of space on the desk. This was also a pretty good investment in my opinion. I've been using this monitor for the past two years and I've been pretty happy with it. The only thing that is needed right now is probably a nice calibration as it's been a, quite a bit of time, but I've got so much value out of this monitor. And I've added the Quintus monitor light to my monitor setup. It helps reduce eye strain and honestly, it looks really cool. You can adjust the light level, the temperature, and it's got the auto dimming mode. It monitors your surroundings and it sets the lighting based on your surroundings. This is one thing that you can easily get used to. Sometimes if I forget to turn it on, I'll notice that it's off right away and turn it on. It's like my eyes are so used to it. If you look at your computer screen for quite a bit, this is a good item to purchase. Your eyes will thank you. And my entire desk system runs on a MacBook and the M1 MacBook Pro to be more specific. I don't remember using a piece of tech for three years and not needing an upgrade. Yeah, that is literally M1 MacBook Pro for me. I have the 10 core CPU, 16 core GPU and 16 gigs of unified memory. And all of my videos on this channel are being edited using my M1 MacBook Pro. It also travels with me and takes care of all of my other video projects. This is probably the best computer I've ever had. Thank you so much for watching my desk tour video. I hope there was a product that you liked in there and I hope there was something in this video for you. As always, it has been a pleasure and I'll see you in the next one.